Welcome Aquarius. Okay, so we are going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with. And we're using Divine Directions, the Angels and Ancestors Oracle Cards, and the Light Seers Tarot. Alrighty, let's get into it, starting with Divine Directions. Three. Okay, so two, one more card for Aquarius, please. Suddenly they're like out. Aquarius, wow. Okay, I'll just pick this up. Okay, Aquarius, the first card we have is home. It's time to renovate or change something in your home environment or move home. Okay, the next card is clearing. Remove energy blockages by clearing out unwanted emotional or material clutter. Okay, so you may need to do a clearing of your home. And I do want to say about that, Aquarius, is it may be necessary for some of you to be doing a cleansing. Okay, um, so just clearing out the energies. All right, um, so that's something that you could look into if you feel that you need that. And proud. Be proud of who you are, where you've been, and where you are going. Okay, so interesting. Aquarius, let's get into it. We'll start with home first, and we'll get two cards for home for Aquarius, please. Wow, what is with this jumping Aquarius? I love it though. I can't see it. It's down on the floor. I'll have to pick it up, but I want the second card. Actually, let me double check. There's not two cards. Thankfully, I did because I picked it up and I was like, no, definitely one. But then I, as I went to slide it, there is two. Okay. We have drum, dream and journey. Mm. Um, the other car, card we have here is moon. And this says, take note of intuitive messages. I wonder if some of you, because this is coming under home, so I'm actually wondering if for some of you, Aquarius, you are having some dreams um, and you're going on a real journey. I feel like a dream journal next to your bed would be very helpful. Okay. Um, feel like there's something significant about the full moon and this could be because the full moon can be about clearing things out letting things go things that are no longer serving you in preparation for the new moon to come about okay and it's the um yeah see we've had the nine of swords come out here so this could be you actually up at night um, silently crying for some of you I feel like you really need to get your emotions out here and um, and and aside from a dream journal a just a journal to release those emotions would be very helpful for you as well um, the other thing that's just popping up for me here is really be mindful of your own um, self-talk because I feel like for some of you that could be quite negative and I know Aquarius that you um, your mind can go 90 to the dozen right so I think it's really important to maybe be a bit more conscious as to what is actually ticking over in your mind and what are the messages that you're telling yourself, okay? Because I feel like for some of you, this is not always positive. Um, and, but there's some of you that it's actually really, really heavy because the majority of your self-talk is negative. So this needs to change for your own benefit okay um this is what i feel like from now until the full moon really start taking note of that okay and look at how you can change that aquarius so for example if you're saying to yourself oh i'm stupid 
oh, that was stupid, oh, you're so stupid, okay? What you do with that when you catch yourself saying that or anything else that's not um, complimentary towards you, um, then replace that three times by saying, well, sorry, say it three times and say, I am not stupid, I am not stupid, I am not stupid. Okay, um, because you want to rewire those pathways in the brain and that is going to help do that, okay? One more card for drum for Aquarius, please. One more card for drum. Yep. The other thing I want to say, um, sorry, the Page of Swords has come up here and I love that it has because the other thing I was going to say about this drum card, Dream and Journey, is really looking at what um, what dreams you do have and looking at the journey that it will take to get you there, okay? And so this could be, you know, you needing to go and um, do some sort of course, do something, um, learn something differently, okay? The other thing I want to say about this is for some of you, start reading, okay? It may actually be self-help books that some of you need, um, and I feel like because all these light bulbs here, they're not on, they have yet to be, um, actually lit up. Okay. And I feel like by you learning, um, different things and it could be different modalities. Some of you may not know which direction you want to go in right now. So this, um, this may help you to discover, oh, that really, um, intrigues me I'd like to learn more about that you know and start to discover what it is that you would like to learn more about okay but I feel like um, by doing these things that's going to help to switch the light bulb on for you the other thing with the writing down of things that's actually going to allow that energy to be released from you and um, and if you're rereading over things that you have written it may shift your perspective on whatever is going on for you and you may see things in a different light okay so this is something I think is going to be very beneficial for you Aquarius okay so moon take note of intuitive messages and this could be another journal that you could have you know um to note down of oh I've got this out of the blue why has this come through you know is that one card? Yes, we have the Four of Swords here. Um, yeah, this is interesting because this is also this healing um, for you, taking time to rest, taking time to go within, okay? Um, and, and because it's sort of like some of you are sleeping because you have to, um, but I feel like there's not actual rest going on and I really do feel as though this needs to be a purposeful action for you to do, to take some rest, okay, because there is, um, for some of you, it's your heart that needs healing, uh, um, and yeah, um, and I feel like with this rest also, Aquarius, is that will help to clear the channels for you to to allow these intuitive messages to come through and start playing around with it because you know with the intuition it's just things that you know without a doubt you just know right um and it could be you know there'll be times in your life where you went oh you know maybe I'll take this route to go somewhere and something inside of you went no go this way and you didn't found that, you know, there was a traffic jam or something like that. There was, um, you know, um, or you did the opposite and went, dang, I knew I should have gone that way. Um, so these are the sort of intuitive messages that are good to take note of to really start to feel that surety of what it is that you're getting through. Okay, we also have the emperor here, which I love that this has come up because um, this is an energy, Aquarius, that would be really great for you to embrace. Um, the one thing I do want to mention here, which is coming into my mind, this could be, for some of you, associated with an Aries, okay? Or you could have Aries in your chart. I don't normally bring these things up, but 
yeah, this has come up. Okay, the other thing I want to say about this here, Aries, um, sorry, Aries, I've got Aries on my brain. Um, don't worry, I've infused everything with your energy, Aquarius. Um, I do want to say that, um, hmm, because I'm seeing the anchor symbol here twice, one in the, once in the chest piece and one on a tattoo on his arm. So what I want to say here to you, Aquarius, is that, oh, Aquarius, oh, also Taurus is popping up here for me. But anyway, let's get back to it, um, is to go into a meditation, okay, and um, bring the energy um, up from the bottom of your spine, up through your crown chakra, up to your third eye, okay, and out and around into your heart, okay, and just keep repeating this energy flow, because I feel like this is going to clear things out for you, okay, energetically, and it's going to help to open this channel up here, Okay, so yeah, I don't know why that's come through, but I feel like for some of you, this is important to do. Well, actually, maybe for all of you. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, even if it's just five minutes, right, just find a peaceful, restful place that you can sit and allow this energy to flow, because I feel like for some of you, there are blockages that need to be cleared, okay, and with this now moving on to this clearing, right, remove energy blockages by clearing out unwanted emotional or material clutter, and when we have a lot of clutter in our homes or even at work, um, it can feel, you know, it, it can feel like things aren't flowing, correctly for us okay so this this is very important for you okay so two cards for clearing for Aquarius please two cards for clearing we've got one card here okay interesting oh no we've got two ah, fancy that okay so wow this is arrow and I'm finding it so interesting because we've had these other two cards come up the same as this. Surround yourself with protective energy. Yeah, clearing out that energy allows you to bring in more pure energy to protect yourself with. This is interesting because this is quite a spiritual reading. And so some of you may be actually um, opening up on a spiritual level, uh, but... The fact of the matter is, Aquarius, is that we are all spiritual beings having a human experience. It is not the other way around. Okay, so these things for some of you, you may think is a load of rubbish, but the fact of the matter is, it is necessary for you. And if you actually do these things, you're going to start to feel the difference in your, just in your being, in your way of um, navigating your way through life is it going to become smoother and that's not to say that you're not going to have hiccups and you're not going to have, um, you know, um, oh, it's so funny, the word keeps, it's almost like it keeps avoiding me which is interesting because I wonder if there's something some of you are avoiding and maybe it's actually doing this. Um, but I feel like you're going to be able to go down the road without having these, um, you know, wherever there are hurdles, you're going to be able to manage them a lot easier, okay, because you haven't got all this stuck energy inside of you. For some of you, I feel like this has been building up and building up and building up for such a long time that it's going to take a bit to clear. And um, But I because it has been building up for such a long time, the clearing of it is going to start to feel very um, light, I want to say. So yeah, uh, we also have Protection Guardian. Interesting. Okay, so this is very important for you because we've got surround yourself with protection energy and protection guardian. So this is a guardian that can you can call on here, Aquarius, to protect you, okay? But it doesn't mean that you don't do the work behind it. You still need to do the work, okay? Drop your shields. And this, I feel like, 
is you needing to drop the shield of actually allowing this energy in to flow um, because just try it. That's all I want to say is just try it um, if you don't believe it, okay? Um, I wonder if for some of you, you've had a bad experience on a spiritual level and you're feeling quite guarded. Um, I want you to know that the Protection Guardian is there uh, to, to do what it is that you need to do, okay? Um, and I also want to say to you that if you're ever unsure, feel it out, okay? If it feels like, um, mm, I'm, I'm in doubt about this energy uh, that you're feeling, that's okay, go with it right and this is we are practicing um this using this intuitive um sense is really important okay because that's going to become clearer and clearer over time and this clear, having this clearing is going to help for that to come through a lot clearer too you know and so yeah you don't have to deal with energies any energies you don't want to deal with okay so please always know that um it's never you know, just because you're feeling it doesn't mean that you should embrace it, okay? So it's always good to question, I believe, it really is, I am the most sceptical out there. Like if there's something going on, I am looking at every possibility that it could be before I accept the, um, you know, something that's not of this earthly plane. So, you know, it's okay to do that. Okay, so... But I think also the other thing I do want to say about that Aquarius is to also have faith, okay? Um, yeah, it's a bit of a balance, I'd say. Okay, so Arrow, give me two cards for Arrow for Aquarius, please. With this Arrow here is because I feel like things are heading in a particular direction in your life, that that protective energy is needed for you. Um for some of you, I feel like there could be some jealous people around or some people who don't want to see you succeed um, or don't want to see you move forward. And yeah, I feel like your energy needs to be protected in that because of that. Um, so we've got the three of wands here. Okay, so yes, this is you moving forward, right? This is you. I, I feel like this is you getting ready to set sail. It's sort of like, even though we can't see it, I feel like there's a boat um, in the water and you need the surfboard to get to the boat. This is a means of transport, right? Um, so this is you getting ready to kind of go on a big journey. And whether that is, you know, you traveling somewhere or whether it is just in your life, this could be your spiritual journey, Okay, um, yeah, I feel as though what is important here for you, especially with this clearing, is that you can't really carry anything on the surfboard, um, so you need to clear all, all the things that you do not need, or at least leave them behind, knowing that they'll be there when you come back, okay, um, but be, be prepared to make this journey and travel light, okay, and I love that, because when I think of a spiritual journey, even though it's not as pretty as what it may appear, um, it does bring a lightness into your life, because as you go through that journey, you are purging big time, you are getting rid of all that old stuff, you're in that shadow self, in that dark, dark night of the soul, you're going through all the stuff that um, is is ugly it's uncomfortable right um but it's it lightens the load okay so yeah king of swords cutting out cutting out what it is you don't need okay um and you know this i feel like this is this energy that you can embrace i do want to say for some of you just be mindful of not being too harsh okay, with those around you, because if you are making changes in your life, it's going to take a bit for people to adjust to, and fair enough, 
you know um not everyone's going to be happy with that change okay um so be aware of that but also do what it is you need to do um the other thing i do want to say here aquarius is be mindful of your communication so that wires aren't getting crossed okay because some people may be in misinterpreting where you're coming from so try to be very clear as to what is going on okay for you all right and potentially if you're not clear about that you may need to get together with people that you trust okay to you know, people who have your back, people who will support you to nut things out so that it does become clearer for you, okay? Um, so yes, let's have a look at Protection Guardian here. Drop your shields. Okay, so two cards for Protection Guardian for Aquarius, please. Ooh, almost dropping up. I mean, jumping up. <laughs> That's what you seem to be doing. And, you know, this could be about you jumping into something, right? Oh, we've got three cards come out here, and I feel like this is necessary to take all of them. Okay. Wow. Oh, well, now we've got the King of Pentacles. So, you know, this is you building something that is long-lasting. You know, the, the King of Pentacles, He's see how he's chilling here? In fact, both of them, see how they're chilling? They've got it, they've got it down packed. They know what they're doing. You know, they don't, um, they're not scrambling and struggling here, right? Um, and even the dog is calm here. And I feel like this is something that you are headed towards, this kind of energy by doing all this clearing, okay? The five of wands here. Yeah, this is about you clearing out this internal um baggage this this actual actual internal battle and it's really interesting because I feel like this battle that you have internally is sort of petty um it's not even really necessary but it's kind of like Aquarius if your mind hasn't got anything to focus on it has these petty little battles and it, it's it's not necessary to have those um but also i do want to say about this is this is burning down all this debris that does not serve you that is blocking you from moving forward okay and um yeah this could be even people in your life who are a bit petty um so be mindful of that okay um Jeez, this is powerful though. We've got the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Emperor here. So I do wonder for some of you that there could be a um, a bit of a disagreement. Um, but I don't feel like it's a major thing. Okay. Um, some of you may actually be clearing out a house. It could be for a loved one or an elderly parent um and maybe there's a bit of um disagreements between siblings but i just kind of feel like it's important to rise above that and do what needs to be done the best thing for the parents um take everybody's um opinion into account okay and be reasonable all right so yeah we have death and rebirth here um it could even be that one of you have lost a parent, um, so if that's the case, oh, yeah, it's really, honestly, my heart is with you. Um, yeah, but the other thing I do get from this card is, remember, life is eternal. Our souls are eternal. You know, even if someone has passed, it's their body that has... That form that has um, is no longer here, but their energy is, their soul is, okay? Um, so, yeah, but honestly, it doesn't replace anyone in the physical, you know? It doesn't, yeah, mean that it's any easier, and, it, and I don't say that to minimize things, but I'm just seeing through this um, hood here, this clearing of this energy here, right? So, yeah, this is really good. Okay, so um, be proud of who you are, where you've been, and where you're going, where you're going. 
you know, sometimes we seek um, external validation for people to be proud of us. Um, and it may have been from your parents or even your siblings um, or anyone in your family or those around you, your friends. Um, but at the end of the day, Aquarius, it's us who we really want to impress. It's us who need to validate ourselves because we are the most important people in our lives, right? If we're not going to give it to ourselves, who is? Yeah, so I feel as though this is important for you to arrive at because there's too much of this outside stuff um, and it really is time to come inside and work out you know these things especially with this you know what is going on in here that is not serving you are you running yourself down because I don't feel like it's a motivating um, that I don't feel like these thoughts are motivating you I feel like they're crippling you so be aware of that okay so one more card for proud i've got one come out it's upside down and i'm not sure what it is yet so let's okay nice i think this tried to come out before but it didn't quite come okay so first card here beautiful heart guardian here's another guardian that you can call on right love and let yourself be loved. Yeah. See? So protection guardian. Drop those shields, right? Because if people are coming in and trying to love you and care for you, especially in your if you're in a time of grieving, um, drop your shields so that you can allow people in to take care of you because that's okay. All right. Um and just let it be. You don't have to overthink it. Just let it be. I know that's easier said than done. Believe me, Aquarius, I know. Um, yeah. Okay, so we've got wise one here as well. Look at this. How beautiful. Um, grow within your current situation. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. See this crow here? I hope you can see this. It's got it's like it's been given a bead from this wise one here, and it's it's shutting it up because it can't squawk, 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 squawk at you and I feel like this is your mind it's kind of like, like you need to see your mind as the crow shove a bead in its mouth and it has to be silent okay um or at least you know be um the the noise will be muffled <laughs> uh, because you really need this at this time you need to come into your heart and you know drop all thoughts from your mind into your heart let your heart let your let your fart or you might end up farting to get it all out. Who knows? But, you know, let your heart um, transmute that, okay? Um, yeah, and I feel like, you know, you just, you actually need some tender love and care. So, yeah. Okay, so two cards for Heart Guardian for Aquarius, please. The Tower. Yeah. Oh, what's this one? Wow. Oh. Yeah, the tower, something has ended very suddenly. Um, and with this death and rebirth here, um, this has been tough, man. This has been really hard and quite um, quite a shock for you, even if it was something that was expected. I have a feeling that you didn't really maybe expect to feel the way you do. Um, and it may just feel like everything's crumbling around you, you know, and... This is an opportunity for you to build a solid foundation for yourself, Aquarius. And I know that that might not even be in your sights yet, but try to keep that at the back of your mind to know that this is where this leads, okay? But right now, all you need to do is open yourself up to love yourself, be kind to yourself, be gentle with yourself, and allow others in to come and love you because they are there for you. Okay, even if you don't believe they are, they actually are. Okay, and like it says, be proud of who you are, right? Where you've been and where you're going. Okay, because there are things in your life and the journey that you've been on, there are aspects of that, because I know that some of you can't see that right now, but there are certainly things that are, are worthy of being proud of and that's okay we've got the ace of pentacles here so this is now 
planting something new? What do you want to plant? You know, this is an opportunity for you to look at. Okay, so this is alternative crap. What is it that I want to grow now? You know, um, try not to sit in that. Okay, try to look towards the future to go, what do I want to change in my life? What is it I would like to grow from here on out? Okay, because whatever it is that you plant, even though you have to do the work, this has been handed to you, okay, as a new beginning. How are you going to utilize that and make that beneficial for yourself? Because at the end of the day, it's not going to take form on its own. You have to do the work to make that happen. So what does that look like for you? Okay, this dream and journey where do you want to end up, okay, so wise one, grow within your current situation, this is, you know, sometimes these new beginnings are not easy, because they've, you know, come about in a really heavy way, but a new beginning is something to be celebrated all the same, okay, so wise one, two cards for wise one, for Aquarius please, and this is someone that you can call on as well, this energy, the wise one. You know, you've got your protection guardian, your heart guardian, and wise one to call on to have your back. You know, you've got your um, guides, you've got your guardian angels, and most importantly, you have yourself. Okay, so one more. Okay. Page of Wands. Yes, learning to do things differently, right? Learning to use you know, tapping into this passion that you have and actually starting to play with that. Bring it through. Bring that inner child through. What did you love doing when you were a kid, right? Bring all that through and start to have fun in your life, okay? Um, six of Wands, I love this. Celebrate your successes so far. Celebrate yourself. Remember, be proud of who you are and know that it's okay to say, well, do you know what? I have done good. You know, it's not about being cocky. OK, um, there is still work to do. And um, but the fact of the matter is that you can um, stand up and be proud of, you know, your achievements. OK, the four of cups, just don't focus on the things that haven't worked out. Don't stay stuck in that energy. Look at what you have coming forth for you. Tap into your passion that is within what ignites your fire within okay and use that to propel you forward okay Aquarius please take care of your beautiful selves see you bye bye